Hey guys, um, back with the next update. As I mentioned previously, I'm um, going to be just covering two records, well technically two records in this um, video. Um, reason being, they are three LP records, so I want to make sure I have enough time to uh, you know, show you guys everything and be able to talk about everything I want to talk about. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, Rise Records Typically, um, towards the end of the year, they release a bunch of vinyl, like, they've done it like the past three years, and it's great. Um, usually there's a lot of, like, older records that I really want to press, like, get pressed, it's usually new pressings. Um, so, I do tend to look forward to that time of the year. Rise Records is pretty important to my high school experience. Um, so, with this year's batch, there was only one that I really had to have, um, and I got that one, which I will be showing you guys in the next video. Um, however, I was on the fence about all the other ones, and I waited, and eventually um, I ended up going back and picking up some of the ones I wanted. One of the ones I was on the fence about was the Color Morale. This is the 3LP um, set that includes We All Have Demons. Um, my Devil in Your Eyes, and No Hope. Um, it's, a, it's a great set, it's a great, great three albums. The reason I was on the fence was because I already had No Hope. Um, I have the first pressing, which was released during one of those big end of the year things I was talking about. Um, the first year they did it. Um, I'm, I'm not too crazy a fan of My Devil in Your Eyes, and We All Have Demons I like a lot like a lot and I really did want that in my collection um, but was I w really willing to pay for, for the full 3LP set um, just to get the one record um, in the end I decided yes and I have to say I am glad I did the cover art here combines all three of the um, records titles you got um, you know the guy and the trees in the background from the first record you got the ocean with the mountain from, I mean, from the second record, the guy. Uh, the third record has the ocean, the mountain, and the first record kind of blends in there. I mean, really, it, it's mostly the sky is what you can tell. Um, but it's cool that it's all in there. Um, it's really great. And then the gatefold opens up. You have the artwork for the first record. We all have demons as well as a picture of the band. And from this sleeve here, we can pull out the first of the three LPs, which is indeed We All Have Demons. Um, this one comes on, which is probably the prettiest of the three, half red, half clear with a olive green splatter. Really gorgeous looking record. And like I said, yeah, this was the um, main reason I bought this was for this record. I kind of... Um, I almost want to say I like this record even better than No Hope. Um, and I did hear No Hope first, so it's not like, oh, I like it because that's what got me into them. Um, and I'm always going to like that better because I got into them through No Hope and went back and checked out the rest. And I really do like We All Have Demons. Um, I think it's an excellent record. Uh, favorite track, I mean, the opening track, The Sage of Washington Oaks, is just, is a really good one. I think it's awesome. Um, going back, if we open up the gatefold one more time, it reveals the cover arts for the next two records. We All Have Demons. I mean, sorry. That's We All Have Demons. My Devil in Your Eyes, and No Hope. Um, so all three of the artwork is in the center gatefold. Um, if we pull out the LP for My Devil in Your Eyes, we see that it comes on half brown, half clear with orange splatter, which is very true to the album cover. It matches very well. And um, as I was saying, this really this is my least favorite of the Color Morales records. Um, reason being, I felt like they were going for a heavier approach with this one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, 
But kind of what I like about the color morale is that um, the lead singer Garrett Rapp has just such a nice uh, singing voice, and uh, the melodies that they can do with his voice are just really awesome. Um, and I think that combined with you know like occasional heavier parts is really powerful. But this one was almost I mean it's not that the singing isn't there, but it definitely has a heavier approach and I don't know I just it didn't really didn't care for it too much um, my friend agrees with me on that so I mean I don't think I'm being kind of I guess unreasonable yeah. but, um, next up going off the record for no hope we have half gray half clear with purple splatter Purple is an odd choice. I think a blue splatter would have gone even better with the cover art, but hey, I, it, it still looks really good. Um, and No Hope is, is an incredible record by The Color Morale. I already have the first pressing, um, which is gorgeous. It comes with a signed photo. Um, it's awesome. It's one of the more valuable records in my collection. And before you ask, no, just because I have this set, I will not be selling um, my first pressing of No Hope. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, so I don't, I think if I spin one of them, I'm probably going to spin this one. Uh, just because I like it a little less, I guess. And the other one holds more value, so I want to keep that in better shape. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, this is a, an excellent three-piece set. You get all three records for a fair price. Um, I was only pondering on it because, like I said, I really only wanted one of the records in here. Um, but the the gatefold is awesome. It looks great. It's, it's a great thing to have if you're a fan of the color morale. Check that out. All right, and the second and final record I'm going to be talking about is Circus Survive Juturna. This is the 10 year anniversary edition 3LP. Um, there were a few different options. You could have got a, um, I believe it was a single LP or it might have been double LP, but it just had the record. Um, or you could have got like the um, VIP tour exclusive, which was cool and I would have liked to have VIP tickets. Um, but I didn't. I did go to the 10 year anniversary show. It was awesome. Um, they played the whole record. Yeah. Great time. Um, and the three LPs on here are all from Juturna. First you have the actual record Juturna. And then you have the Linden House demos. And down below you have uh, Juturna demos, which were basically um, songs that just didn't make the, um, the cut there. So we have a nice gatefold with, of course, the artwork by... East How Andrews, I believe is his name. He's an excellent artist. He's been with the band since their start. Um, he's responsible for all the cover arts, which are all highly distinctful, and uh, people tend to recognize them very easily. Um, and Juturna is a great record. Um, there was the first record by Circus Survive that I liked, and I got into them very late. I got into Circus Survive uh, a few months before they released or even announced the census um, is when I got in them and Juturna was definitely the one I jumped on um, first I think my favorite is on letting go uh, but Juturna is incredible and I was about to buy one of the older pressings for like 80 bucks um, and now two weeks later they announced this one for roughly 80 bucks which is three LP sets so I am very glad I waited um, Getting into it, the like I said, the first LP. Oh, well, first we have an insert that I want to show you guys. Some more artwork. Lyrics on the back. It opens up to reveal um, some photos of the recording, as well as um, the band's uh, kind of commentary about their memories looking back at the experience. So that's cool. But yeah, the first record, which is the actual record, Juturna, comes on a olive green with white splatter. Looks really awesome. Um, 
Yeah, so like I said, I, I'm a really big fan of this record. If you haven't listened to Jaterna yet, you're really missing out, or Circus Ride in general. The next LP is the Linden House Demos, which is basically the full record, um, just in demo format, unmastered. Um, comes on white with translucent yellow splatter. In some areas, it actually is translucent, where there is no white. Um, and some of the songs actually sound better in their original demo form. Um, like, one in particular is, uh, Stop the Fucking Car, is super eerie sounding. It just sounds totally different. Same song, just different sound. Um, I was kind of like wondering, like, maybe I should give a single LP because I'm really not going to be wanting to listen to the demos that much, you know? I really just want the record in my collection. Um, no, I have played the demos quite a, a few times, extensively. The last LP comes on clear with red splatter, and you might see a little something behind that clear, that is because it is indeed etched, um, got it upside down. That is the cover art on the cover, the girl kind of busting through the gate. They don't show the gate, but there's some grass down below. Um, and this is the you turn demos, as they call it. These are songs that aren't on the record, that they still recorded. Some really good stuff, actually. Um, one of them, Caliphone, is really awesome. I like that one a lot. Uh, but yeah, just some cool stuff on there. Drop the sleeve. So all in all, I think it was worth it. Um, awesome packaging. I'm really glad to have it in my collection. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these three, these two, three LP records. Um, really excited to have them in my collection. They're definitely uh, kind of like pieces that I'm happy to show off when people come over. Um, yeah, so the next video, four more records, and then we'll be back to our five record per video pace. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you next video.